we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big sh- Check it, check it, check it. It's unique because it's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my day will go on. But I want y'all to make sure y'all like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, you name it. We're on it. But most importantly, y'all need to go ahead and tap into our new Patreon channel, and we are Boss Talk Podcast 101 on all streaming platforms. But Patreon is where you're going to find our full length interviews, and also on YouTube. For a small membership fee, check us out. That's the only place you're going to find it. And it is loaded. So see you there. Man, you know what, man? I, You know, this is the time that I cherish, man. My guys here, y'all. You know, I done found me a friend now, man. We rock, we, we, we rock it now, man. <laughs> this guy right here, I call him, man. And, and hey, man. Hey, and so and many. he answers. And so <laughs> many blessings that came through it, man. Even Chico Bean came through him. I can't even, I can't even lie. <laughs> and Carlos, like, C- Carlos Miller, Yeah, too. but th- yeah, I had to go through Carlos, get to Chico, but it all came through the dog master, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Say, man, check What's it, man. Up, man? Man, on? thank you for coming on the show, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. And who is it? Wait a minute, Mister God, what? I had it right here. This Mister God. Mister God, damn man. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Man, it's good to have you, brother. Oh, yeah, we yeah. Is y'all brothers or something? Or y'all kind of? Nah. I know they favor. I'm you the see this? They favor. Ain't that sexy? I'm the sexy one. I look, be- I look better than him. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's cool. You look like the little brother. He the little brother. The little brother. You see his head shaped like a little Peter. Little Peter head brother right here. Hey man, you gotta break this one down because I don't know that much about this one. Yeah, tell tell me where you from because somebody told me that um, you Jamaican or Haitian or something like that for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I don't hear no accent. <laughs> I don't hear none of that. No, I'm, I, I'm, I was born uh, born and raised in the Bahamas. Okay, I really? Came over here when I was 13. I'm also Haitian as well. Wow. So hold on, but, but I don't hear the um, Bajan accent at all either. You know what I mean? I, I remix it, flip it up, you know, stack it up, go back to it. You know what I mean? Let me hear a little bit. Yeah, nigga don't know nothing. Give me see what you got. Uh, I mean, you got yeah. You you talking to one? Both of y'all from the islands. Give him some. No, no. Let me hear him first. I'm kind of shy. Right? Let, let's we get into it later on. You know? oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga ain't yeah, no real Bahama type. Yeah. <laughs> Say man, the Bahamas people, man, they don't play. Nah, they, they don't. And, and they and some of them can cook, you know. That's shot, where Rihanna from. Yeah, she. Yeah, no, no, I'm from Bahamas. The the grand, grand nah, they, that's two different. That's she from Bermuda. Bermuda. I'm from the Bahamas. Oh, okay. Oh. Nah, uh she from ba- She from nah, Bahamas. She she's Bayesian. So what you is then? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. So, so I'm also Haitian, so I'm, I speak Creole. I, I have a Bahamian accent as well. Really? Yeah. And you just basically uh, are just going to come out here with your, you, I bet you speaking when the right th- when at the right time. You got to speak it. You got to come on with it. You can do it. <laughs> so so coming over, you know, like, like, how did you end up getting into the cars, man? Man, you know, uh, my dad's a mechanic. Okay. And it's so crazy. I came over when I was 13 years old. Okay. You know what I mean? Fast and Furious was my favorite movie. My, still my favorite movie all the time. So I always was into cars. So I like, you know, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do a little something. You know what I mean? And I said, I'm gonna, I said, well, I, I was in high school. So I told this girl, I said, listen, when I, when I come out of high school, I'm going to get this car. And it was the Challenger. And she's she like, man, them cars ain't no good. They call, them cars ain't no good. They bad. You know, it's so funny. So long to make a long story short, I was at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and I had the, the Hellcat Challenger, and she was in the Toyota Camry, old one. I said, "Oh Lord!" <laughs> I, I tried to say, "What's up?" to her. she she looked at me. Mm. So yeah, so I had so me having a passion for these cars made made me become who I am today. Yes, yeah, hard. So and uh, I done had about two V sixes, two Scat Packs, two Hellcats. I recently just got a Hellcat. I just been going. I just been going. You got a wide body. You got to tell them, you got a wide body. You got the wide body. You got the wide body. You know what I mean? It's a whole variety, variety of different stuff, but you know what I mean? That's what we're working with. But I mean, like, like. So what's the difference between the wide body and the red? So what's the special it's thing like, about okay, having the okay, wide okay, body? Okay, okay, okay. It's like this, right? So a person who don't know nothing about okay, this stuff. Yeah, okay, so you know, you got you got them slim girls out there. <laughs> and they go to the Dr. Miami to get the BBW. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Wide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it, it, she got slim and you got wide. Yeah, he done, he done ramped it up. Yeah. So you tell me that the wide ones are better. 
You know what I mean? They look better. They look better. Yeah, they look better. Yeah, we we so so. But nah, it's it's a slim body, and then it's just just a little bulky looking bulk. Just you know what I mean? They cost more too, though. Huh? They cost, it cost more. That cost a little, it cost twenty thousand more just yeah, for the wide body. For the wide yeah, body, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the BBA, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> so, what like like the the cars that that you you be all because you in different cars we be seeing you. Yeah. Where are these damn cars coming from? You like this nigga? Y'all hoarding these cars, <laughs> or is you just where are these damn cars coming from, man? I mean, you know, it's just like pimp my ride from back in the day. Yeah, but see now it's like people come to me. I be showing cars that people never see. Like I travel across the city, world. Uh, my I travel across city, city, state, state. Just oh, you know what I mean, sound yeah. familiar, yeah. nigga. <laughs> sound familiar. So, <laughs> so I travel from city, from states, uh, showing off cars, bringing cars out. Hey, people be happy to see me bring them that three, four hundred cars out. Wow. Just you know what I mean, just by because they know Mister Goddamn coming to the city. And we're gonna have a good time. What and these mean? cars belong to all the people that you're showing, or these are yeah, your cars? They belong to other people, but they wanna. They rock they, with they, you. See, they buy the car, right? See, yeah. you buy the regular Hellcat, what's not, you drive around, but someone missed the goddamn it, touch it. Oh, it's yeah. different. Yeah, you know I mean? Okay. I got okay. people that want me to sign their cars, signature their cars, and all that stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. It's serious. It's no, serious. that's all. And I, and I just, I'm just getting started, too. So. Yeah, and that's what that's what, that's the whole game. Man, you got the right nigga with you right now. Yeah. Boy, you got this nigga right here. You know this nigga right here. I didn't know if I was going to be able to land him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, I met him. I said, man, I got to get this dude. I got to get to know this one right here, man. Yeah. It's so crazy how we met. Everybody, everybody, and I used to work at this job, right? Uh huh. They're like, you like dunk, man. I'm like, who that is? <laughs> They're like, you like, you like dunk, man. I said, who is that? So I go look him up. I said, that nigga don't look like me. I said, no. Oh. no. <laughs> so, so crazy. Now, now, now we, I go to these shows. I was in the car club. I'm in the, going to these shows and stuff. The first time I think, what was it, Orlando? Yeah, the classic, yeah, the classic, yeah. I said, okay. Cool, dude. Yeah, that nigga kind of look like me. And then the second time what was the second time? If you came to uh, Maryland or something like that. Yeah, Maryland. That's how like, we, we, we kept seeing each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, shit, we need to do something. And then he reached out to me. I said, let me get your phone number. He reached out to me and said, man, you know, we, we, we could become something big. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, but, but when you first reached out, it was kind of hard to peel back that onion when he wasn't trying to talk to you much. No, nah, because he said, you no. Know, no. Like, he's like, okay, he's like this. <laughs> It's a lot of YouTubers, a lot of content creators. Yeah. They be with the bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> he knew, he you knew the trend I mean? lightly. So he's like, you know, I'm going to watch this nigga. Because like I said, we seen each other. It, it, it was a conversation. So I'm going I'm to watch this nigga. You know, he just got that phone. I said, that talking about some car. Okay. I <laughs> might be all right. It's time to go to work, goddammit. You know yeah. what I mean? Candy shop. Fucked around a little bit, you know what I mean? We was getting shit on the popping. I like that, man. So what man, What did you see in him? Because you know you ain't easy to... Nigga can't run up on this, right? I run up on a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? But I ran up on this one, he was like, nah, no, I said, oh, hell. Yeah, I got me a hard one. Yeah, and guess what? Man, that nigga got me a hard one. Yeah, 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 it's a lot of people playing games, trying to figure out ways to, you know, pretty much disrupt what people yeah. got going. Mm -hmm. And and so what did you see in him that made you say, you know what, I'm going to go and rock with see, him? See, I, I watched for a minute. So before we went to the class, I already knew he was. You know what I'm saying? Okay. People send him in videos, like you said, he'd be making the funny videos and the calls and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I like, dang, he kind of doing something similar to what I'm doing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm looking at him. But he was following what I was doing already. Yeah. So I was like, okay, see, I was watching him. I didn't know how old he was. I thought he was probably like late 20s, early 30s, something like that. So I watched him for a little minute, see what's going on. He, I met him in the Orlando Classic. He brought like 20 uh, cars with him. So we were just hanging out, and there was like 20 cars. It was with a car club or something. That's hard. But he was the lead person. No, so I was the lead. He he could say he wasn't the lead, but everybody wanted to meet this nigga. That's I was, all. Yeah. I was that nigga. Yeah, yeah. 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 In the crowd, yeah. the people. So That's they good. To see. So yeah. I, I made the car club damn near look good, right? Yeah, but I wasn't getting no, you know, what I mean, support. So I had to. Yeah. So he started doing his own thing, the and, and then he got a little bit bigger. You know what I'm saying? But I was watching him. He was moving. He was waking up early in the morning. He would talk to the people in the morning, similar to what I was doing at the yeah. time. Yeah. And he was always talking to people, and then like little kids would run up to him. He wasn't brushing them off or pushing them off. Yeah. He had a good person in character, and I f felt that he would be fit to what we, we was trying to build. Yeah. So that's when I seen him there. He came to Maryland. I talked to him a little bit more. Then after that, I said, we need to start doing some stuff together. Wow. And they want, like, 
When, so just like when I went to see him, he did the burn yard and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So like eBay Motors, Hoonigan had me come out there. This is what he do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they want me to come in there and do the burnouts and all that kind of stuff, but he is the one who do all the sliding and all that. So Man. if I can open the door for somebody else and pull them into somewhere t- to get some paper, that's what I'm going to do. Man. How many people come up to you on a daily basis to try to get on like that? A whole bunch of them. <laughs> 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 all the time they be in my DM, they want to work, they want to do this, they want to do that, but I already know the energy, they just want some clout. Right. They want to put in on work, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> I'm the first to wake up, the last to go to sleep. Like You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just, just like right now, I woke up 6 o'clock in the morning, put my kids on the bus, work all day long, get in the truck, 10 o'clock, drive four, 15 hours. Now I'm out here with y'all, and it's already another 10, 11 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He do the same thing. He jump in his truck, he come see me one show, he leaves South Carolina, he go to North Carolina, Nashville. He got his routes organized to where he go go. He execute his plan. He got a plan, strategy, execution. That's, work. That's, that's what hard, he, That's man. what he's doing. So as he coming around, he know he, we had a show April 1st in South Carolina. Then he know he got to come April 8th to another show, the big showdown in Dallas, Texas. So he going to go up in the United States, go to North Carolina, Nashville, come on down to Texas, Houston, whatever the case may be, and do his thing. That's why I, you know what I mean? That's why I You see he's working. Yeah, he's doing see, the same thing. That's he got hard. That the nigga's sleeping. I'm up early in the morning. Yeah. Up his work. When you sleeping, I'm in a whole different state. Mm-hmm. You get up like, damn, this nigga already somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, because right? city to city, state to state is really that's a, a real situation, man. Yeah, yeah, that's a real thing. You know what I mean? I, the thing is, I made I made a, a name for myself very quick, but then it's how I do it. I go to these cities I, every week. I'm in a different city. Mm-hmm. I don't have a. This is my job. I don't. I don't. I quit. I say, you know what? I ain't gonna be working no job. I ain't gonna be working for nobody, Mister Goddamn it. Let's take this on the road. We're do you have playing. kids? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you yeah. saying like that? I mean, yeah, I'm going through work. a situation, you know what I mean? But, you know, we're going to get through it, you know what I mean? I yeah, no, yeah. Because kids are normally what usually make you say, okay, I'm going back home. Nah. You know what I mean? I got a, I got a, I got a situation going on, but I know I have a daughter. You get it? Oh, you, I got five kids. <laughs> you get it? You, get you, got, you got the right nigga teaching yeah. you. <laughs> you say, so you, say, you say you got five. That's two, four, six, eight. They got ten kids. They eat, they eat so much. You know what I mean? Damn. How many kids you got? Man, I got four, but they grown. Two, I'm grown, and two, I'm about to get out. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. you know, when you get older, you know they start leaving. But see, yeah. the thing is, with me, I gotta be real careful because I gotta be real careful because you know, what I mean, I can't just be out here having a whole bunch of kids. No, I like no, to move. No, 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 no. Yeah. If hey, we need you over here. Oh, I'm I'm there. We need you. I'm there. You know, I can't be tied down. You know what I mean? How yeah. many hours of sleep do you get a day? I mean, like about six, seven. Oh, yeah, so you still get you good sleep. Yeah, yeah, but I be up early in the morning. Yeah, yeah. early yeah. Mo- every morning. Man, uh, Doc Master, man. So I mean, what 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 is we gonna see? What is, what what's gonna happen with this whole collab and you guys coming together? Because I know you always got something up your sleeve. Oh, you yeah, 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 yeah. You got you know to. So something about to go down. Yeah, we big on analytics and stuff like that. Like I'm all Chevrolet stuff. He all Dodge stuff. Okay. You know what I'm saying they they need direction and stuff. So we working with the University of Michigan to do something with the STEM program, science and technology. That's one thing we're doing. It's also a lot of brand partners and stuff like that. Just like the cool, you know, we got yeah. the cool. Yeah. I got a lot of uh, partners in race cars and, and motorsports and stuff like that. So it's like he's a younger. I see him as a younger version of me. Mm-hmm. So he has a whole another wave that's that's coming behind my wave. Like I'm yeah. the big wheel, the don't the old schools. Yeah. That's a, that's one wave. He got all the Hellcats, the Durangos, all that stuff. That's a whole another wave, and that's a whole another twenty years behind. Yeah, in the age in the age group. So you know what I mean. I'm just trying to make sure he keep bringing the wheels, and we teach him different ways to do stuff the right way. Yeah, so I, I'm not just doing nothing crazy. Just be safe about it if you go do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, d- just to, that. That's real dope because you go. You gotta understand, man. People look up to you because of what you created, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you you created a, a a reason for people to kids to have hope. The kids and people looking up to you. People I talk to say, "Man, he he made that made that popular in the way and kept it popular." Oh, yeah. And 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 I think that's hard, you know. And I ask because you my guy, so I tell him, "Yeah, that's my partner, man." Like, mm-hmm. and they and they all got respect for you. So I just yeah. want you to know that me as I've been shopping you around, mm-hmm. saying this dude dope, you know, because I deal with people and they like and a lot of them be car people, you know, and they, yeah. they just like a lot of respect for you. So I think that's hard, man. Okay. You know, I, th- I would I think it. your highlight would be when these kids come up to you and tell you how much they love what you do. I think you know how kids is like they they know how to melt our hearts. Mm-hmm. So when these kids come up to you and you know, when they tell you how much they've been watching you and they tell you everything about what you do, how does that make you feel? I like how we have a positive impact. So like I have kids 
kids myself and I be asking them who they look up to. So I was just a positive impact in every household is different. So just for them to have some people to have a release and some kids just look up to something different because not everybody could be no firefighter, no veterinarian, no doctor. Mm-hmm. You can do different things, but everything going to have a different impact on this earth. And I just like leaving my mark in a positive light on earth. Because I see where it. you posted a picture where you took a picture with a, a little kid, a boy. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that picture. So the, the one we took a picture of, he, every year he come to the show, he come to the April show and the August show, and every year he get a t-shirt. So his father and his mother come like, boy, he done outgrow that last one. <laughs> he, need, he, he need a new one. So every time I sign it, then the, the once he outgrow the old one, they, they hang it on the wall. So like every hero card, everything he got, the video games, everything that I have, they buy them, he promote mm-hmm. them, you know what I'm saying? He put them on his wall. It just, it shows him growing over the years and he got a picture of Dope Master every time. That's wow. hard, man. And he, you know what I mean? It's just something. That Is that got. what he want to do? He want to race cars too? Yeah, he want to race cars. So that's what his father was telling me about. They posted how to go get him a car when he turned 14 and they go build it. Then when he gets 16, he go drive it. Wow. But now I think the boy was like 10 years old now. But he was coming to the show since he was seven. Wow. Do you be looking out yeah. for them? Like, I wonder if he going to really start racing when he gets to that age. Oh, yeah, like, nah, you be watch, yeah. do you be watching yeah, him? Yeah, I do keep up with the parents a lot right. of times. And then they inbox me every now and then. And you know what I mean? I, I keep up with all that stuff. You say you ask your kids who they look up to. Who do they your kids look up to? One of them like him. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. My, my older son, like, you That's know what I'm saying? They like the Hellcats and all that stuff, so they like him. Yeah. And then Denise's son, they love him too. That's all. You know what I'm saying? They, they watch him and then they watch the sports. You know what I mean? How does like that make you feel? Kind of stuff. To honestly, know the kids looking up to you like that. Honestly, it made me feel like if there was people like me when I was growing up, you know what I mean? It'll drive it, you to do better. It, it honestly makes me go harder. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I got kids. Looking up to me and it's like, yo, like I'm a positive impact on these kids, so I gotta do right. I gotta keep on going. I gotta keep on going to the top because I got people that's depending on me, that's watching me, that's motivated by me to keep on going. You know what I mean? That's hard, man. Who did you look up to when you were younger, growing up? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. You don't remember <laughs> looking up to any? You didn't look up to anybody when you were young, growing up? No. I, I, I no, honestly no. That nigga was a little rough life. Ain't nobody. <laughs> that nigga down a dog, one of them dog dirt roads. Like, but I do. I, 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 I do have uh, people that like, mo- uh, like that's like, mo- like inspiration, motivated to be like young Jeezy. You know yeah. what I mean? And, you know, that nigga gonna make you hustle. Rounds. Because what are you like, gonna be doing with these niggas? That music right there ain't right, nigga. I was in the car doing bad things on that music. No, because the reason why I said because they they've been they've been in the game for so long and they like oh yeah my Fifty Cent. <laughs> he's, and no, he done wrote, no, he's he's one to look up to, but that's a big if you if you watch his move, like this dude went he changed his style up and kept on changing in time and he's a successor. Like you've seen him change to movies oh, yeah. and he came from rap and got shot. That dude got a hell of a story. That's what I'm saying. So it's like when you see a guy like that, that's, that was the game for so long and now he's still going. Nothing about motivation and respect. Right, that man damn man 40 he making money he how long did you, he, yeah he close yeah, he, about 50. He, fit, he he close to 40. 50 but I'm gonna ask you this when you okay what is the what is the whole game for you though like 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 what what do you want to see yourself in, in another about year or two what's going on oh we, what are you trying to take it to oh uh how far you want to go with it I saw United States. <laughs> oh yeah, you going to other country? Uh, yeah, we, we, we see what we was doing. We trying to do um, we trying to do all 50, 50 some states. We trying to uh, we trying to clean. We, we trying to, we doing the east side. Now we about to do the west side. Uh, and so now it's like we about to finish that up. And then we about to go outside the United States, like Dubai, the first first spot. How do you? Mm. What about laws, uh, law enforcement and stuff? They don't ever give you time. I, you, I got arrested in Vegas. Why? <laughs> I got arrested in Vegas, man. Is there any state? They took you to jail. Oh, yeah. You (laughs) wasn't trying to proposition nobody. No, no, no. (laughs) See Like, what are you doing in Vegas, nigga? That is not a place. It wasn't by no damn cause. Oh, yeah. So, (laughs) it actually actually made me, like, yeah, getting the rest is not good. Again, the rest is not good, but it made me feel good inside because it's like, I'm becoming big. I'm becoming bigger, a bigger person, like, as in my name. So, you know, we go to Vegas, you know, and everybody's happy to see me. Everybody's excited to see me. Oh yeah, my job when I when I come to these different cities and stuff like that, I get picked up from like twelve, thirteen Hellcats. Yeah, they, they be like, airport. they be like, y'all come to pick up one person. 
Yeah. <laughs> what you mean? So, yeah, so I went to that's Vegas. That's big. I like that. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's, that's a movement. That's, that's some real presidential shit. You can get picked by 12 Hellcats? Nah, you niggas ain't doing that. <laughs> but that's crazy, though. But I asked you about the about the jail and the police thing because of the way, you know, the cars and, you know, like like you on the track, you know already you expect I, I didn't get locked up in the street already. Yeah, I know I, that. You did that I, already. I, both, I, of I did did it. both of us got locked up for doing, doing us. Yeah, like, I didn't say, like, like, I ain't that, doing that, no You know, you think you're Martin Luther King? You want to yeah. go for a reason, huh? You want to go for a reason? You want to be... I feel like it's sometimes it's like so much people that's... Looking up to you. You know, when I speak people move you know that's hard I mean? yeah so yeah so getting the, getting arrested so you know black man you know what I mean right. with some power they, they, they took I mean the way they took me it's feel like I was a criminal like I yeah. did something yeah. I was sitting in the passenger seat about 12 police officers pulled up Gun, get out of get, get out of the ground I said what the Guns drawn, like, and you wasn't even driving. Yeah, like you wasn't even driving. Brother, scratch my ass out. He got shot. Dead, gone, over with. Damn, you wasn't even driving though. I right? wasn't even driving. But you had the bigger name. Yeah, that's what it they, is. They said, "Yeah, we know you was coming." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Yeah." I said enough for they. I always got like got, I think I got up at like seven six o'clock in the morning. But they, it really, really nothing they could do. They just like trying to take out the big dog. Okay, so if we take this nigga out. Everybody gonna sit the fuck down. Yeah, and that's exactly what I, I said. I ain't fucking no more. I'm chilling. I ain't gonna. I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm in the cell, tied up. <laughs> nigga smell like shit. I said, oh man, this ain't no place for no nigga. I ain't, I ain't fucking with this shit. I'm fucked up. Man. So how are you avoid not having to deal with law enforcement now? You oh, just, just don't post no. Just don't post no more edges where I'm gonna be at. Yeah, because okay. they feel like oh I'm promoting street. Take takeovers or what's not. I mm -hmm. asked that because I know already. I got a videographer that he goes through his issues because he likes to, you know, do the burnouts and all that. And and you know, I at the end of the day, uh, yeah, he lost his camera a couple yeah. of times trying to do. They that. do it a lot in in, in Dallas. Yeah, a they lot. do it a lot. Oh, yeah, all over the place. That's, they that's do it all over the place, and, huh? And that's why I'm trying to uh, get together and put it on the track. Mm -hmm. So you got to oh, get, get it organized. Get it organized. Organized because the police ain't gonna stop. No, you know what I mean, especially being black, and we got these nice cars. Yeah, that drive fast. Yeah, they on our ass. But you can't buy a property or something and do it in your own secluded area, we can right? Do, yeah, we can do that. That because that's your that's your yeah, legal right. Yeah, some people right. here do that. Yeah. yeah, try to take it off the streets and put it on, into you know these yeah, tracks. And that's what we doing too. That's, like, that that'll be smart. Yeah, so a lot of times different cities. So like in Louisiana, we we start to do it to where we can rent a location when we go down there mm -hmm. for the weekend and do controlled. Uh, burnout. Burnouts, yeah, yeah. That's what they would call control burnout. Yeah. So really, we just go to different cities and do it, and that's what we're trying to make sure we uh, show him how to, how to do it. But some people just like to be bad, though. Yeah. Some people don't want no control, <laughs> nothing. People yeah. want to just be defiant. I mean, he got, got a black it. man in a nice car, and hair care or something. They tear some shit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna fuck some shit up. They gonna see this shit. That's hey, we true. go over here, they... Man, I'm gonna do it right here. Uh, exactly, uh, exactly. Can't tell nigga shit. That's right. So I want to ask you about. I've been seeing. Man, I like this car on your neck, man. I ain't seen that one before, man. What kind of what car? What the is hell that? is going on? That's, a, that's this, my car. That's his car. That's I knew a, it. Yeah. So a jewelry company shout out to Daniel Jewelry. Yeah, I love it. And yeah, they made a solid uh, 14 karat gold. This was a gift for them, and they're a custom made link. So I got diamonds in the headlights and rubies in the tail lights. Boy, you a Ooh, beast, man. I like that. I, I see that. I've been watching. I got to ask him about that one right there. I ain't seen that one. How yeah, long so you've had that piece? Uh, a couple months now. Let me That's hard. About. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's a SEMA. They gave it to me before I went to SEMA. You know, you looking like a rapper. You out with Juice Man, OJ the oh, yeah, Juice yeah, Man. Yeah. I done seen you. He got a whole damn song or something. <laughs> what? How you and him link up? Oh, with Juice Man? Yeah. Oh, yeah my partner, Carlos Miller. So you know my yeah, partner, Yeah, Carlos? of course. I know Carlos. Yeah, so with 85 South, me and him doing the car giveaways. So like either Carlos, we'll get a call from Carlos Miller, or either I'll build one, or we'll find something, we put it together. So like matter of fact, right now we're on our fifth car giveaway. Yeah, and, and is that the Ch Chevelle? Yeah, that's that real. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I got the hell of them. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put my money in the jar, nigga. I got a jar, nigga. I'm gonna put this. Where y'all at the race? Man, I'm not messing with you, nigga. Hell no. So the car. Well, that's a beast. I see it. Yeah, they got a It looks nice. I love it. So that's Mike Brown and I Garage built the car. Yeah. And then we doing the giveaway and all that with Carlos Miller, 85 South. Where's the giveaway? 
The giveaway ends June the 9th. Make sure you put my okay. money in there. I'm putting yeah. yours, I'm putting mine. <laughs> so um, he took my his. So yeah. I can get a red one and you have your blue one. I so if it. I win, it's mine. Don't touch it. Yeah, George, you if I win, win, it's yours. Baby, don't trip. Oh, I got oh, you. Oh, I don't want that nigga. Okay. I just want to spurge you while you're running. Get that passenger seat. I feel like that's the best car they gave away. Me too. I feel that way too. That motherfucker right. purr, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that it's right, ain't it? We had to build it up, though, you know what I'm saying? So, like, over the process of time, this is our fifth giveaway, so we did a 75 convertible first, then we built the money color look like the black blur, and then we did a don't, then we did Carlos Miller 96 Impala, now we're doing a 70 Chappelle. Man. Yeah, so this I, how is the response from all the giveaways? Is it getting bigger and bigger every time? Yeah, so, so it's getting bigger and bigger, and then now more and more celebrities. So, like, the last time we had Rich Homie Kwan there, OJ the Juice. Yeah, Man, you did. And then we have uh, Moneybag Mafia, DC Young Fly, Chico B. Yeah. So, like, a lot of people that call those ties with the 85 South of my partnership with them, we getting a little bit more big and bigger celebrities and it's getting more outlook on it because we the only people doing uh, car giveaways car of giveaways. this kind. Right. So yeah. like everybody else to do like a hell kind of charge something regular. They want some custom that's going to drive and right. ride. You know what I mean? And that's what we want to do. And that's what we trying to get the people out for our culture. We we doing it for our culture. You know what I'm saying? Man, you guys are live, bro. Like like I ain't we really ain't, ain't I ain't seen nobody just as consistent as y'all been. I think mm. that Cor the Corey guy yeah, or whatever. Corey Pritchard, he, he, he the only good. one I see yeah, that y'all yeah, yeah. kind of remotely. But you boys doing it? Hey, y'all doing it right, man. Oh yeah. We like I said, it. I was upset. I, I didn't get that first one. Yeah. I'm going for the red baby this time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am too. You going for oh, yeah. it too? Yeah. You, are, you ain't tell me you gonna go after. I, I'm, I was gonna keep that down low. <laughs> I just, I just spilled the beans, but yeah. damn it! Hey, yeah. so so I'm, I'm gonna be real with you, man. Uh, just Carlos, man, and you, I man, y'all boys, and y'all got this relationship, bro. You work. Last time he was on here, I asked him about you, man, and he said you rocked them cars for it, man. You oh, put yeah. them together, oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. I, I I was like, man, uh, Dump Master over there putting them cars together, man. Uh -huh. And he was like, yeah, man, you know, and 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 just in and out custom and all that stuff, man. How's that working? Y'all still using the same interior uh, guys and yeah, all that? Yeah, so we got this by but now we got stitch more. by stitch yeah stitch by slick so now we got more people because we have he had so many calls so like yeah. Carlos Miller got over 125 cars. I know I argue with the nigga in here yeah. about his car I can't beat you with yeah. the car game nigga the nigga got, nigga. Of, got, nigga got cars everywhere yeah, everywhere I, and I'm talking and this, my, my job my whole partnership is to keep up with the cars and who's doing good work so yeah. like we'll go look at the cars and do QA with his cousin uh, Courtyard shout out to Courtyard yeah, he yeah. got here too so we'll go make sure the shop's doing what he's supposed to do Get you know what I mean. Check the cars out after they leave one shop. I look at it, make sure it's safe for him to drive. Cause yeah. he tell me straight off the rip. He like, bro, don't. I said, what's up? He said, man, I'm too famous to be on the side of the road. Cause <laughs> if I if I got a pocket full of money and jewelry on, I ain't on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I, make, I make sure he ain't on the side of the road. You that's know hard. That's my that's what that's what my my, my partnership is with him. So we yeah, make sure he not on the side so, of the road. Yeah, so I mean, you still got a lot of cars your damn self. So oh, yeah, you know, what yeah, I'm saying, y'all yeah. boys, y'all 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 serious about these cars, man. Yeah. And at the end of the day, man, I told him, I said, might be some all leaks niggas somewhere. Nah, it ain't no damn nah, all leaks niggas. <laughs> nigga, nah. Ain't none of that, but that's my team, you know what I'm saying? Like my team, Jason, Chet, all of the mechanics and fabricators that we got on the team, they keep everything intact. But how yeah. is that possible? Because I've heard um, people say, if you have an old school car sitting down mm -hmm. and not being the driven for a leak. while, it's going to leak. Is that not true? Nah, they ain't using the right stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's different techniques than what we use. So just like, matter of fact, you buy a brand new Chevrolet or whatever. Say you go get the brand new vet. If the brand new vet sit there for four, five, six months, it don't leak nothing. So we use the same seals that they use. It might cost a little bit more money now. It's definitely going to cost a little bit more money. But that torquing the boats to the right spec, having the right gaskets for it, it ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? They just don't do that. What and, and, and Rich Homie Corn, did he buy a car or or y'all or did y'all fix up something for him or y'all just was hanging out? Yeah, he was doing some stuff for eighty five South and then he wanted to do some car stuff for him. That's hard. Yeah, but his partner Rich Homie Monte, he got cars. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? They had they, I know him real well, so we he do a lot of stuff for cars. Like Desi Banks and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so he do the we do we talk back and forth about all that kind of stuff, but they do that too. Yeah, how how's it how's it down in, in South Carolina though? Is it is is the car how's the car world down there? You you king of you king of the of, of the country down there? Oh yeah, yeah, everywhere. He's bro. been that way for a while. <laughs> I'm messing with him. Everywhere. <laughs> he said everywhere, nigga. Not just South Carolina, nigga. Nah, 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 but well, everywhere. What I'm curious about, because I I was seeing you on Instagram where you were going like out in the fields, find old oh, school yeah, cars yeah, oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Is there a certain car that you want in your mm -hmm. catalog that you still haven't found yet that you like itching oh, to yeah, find? I want a '69 convertible Camaro. 
For sure. Like, is that you know, hard to find? Yeah, it is cost a lot. So like right now I talked to another fella in California, he got one, they want fifty thousand for it. But you're just not ready to pay that. Nah, not yet, not yet. But you know what I'm saying? Like a sixty nine Camaro convertible is, is kind of the car that I like. I like the seventy Chevelle too. I do want one of those too. Mm-hmm. That's but a yeah, bad boy. Yeah, I like I like that car too. So I got a seventy one Chevelle, but I don't we don't have no sixty nine Camaro convertible yet. I always heard the seventy is the, the best one to oh, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it rare to find? Yeah, yeah, and it costs a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's 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 not really on how hard it is. It's way more money because they didn't make that many of them. So even if it's not restored, like if I find a seventy Chevelle that's not restored, like it need paint job, body job, everything, how much you think a car like that yeah, will go for? Shit, 10, 15, that thing gonna be cheap raggedy one. for a raggedy one. Yeah, and then you got a ball of sheet metal replace. You just really buying a VIN number. So that's why I tell a lot of people, depending on what you want to do with the car, you might want to spend more money up front to get a good car instead of buying a raggedy. One. Get a Hellcat. How are you, how you funding all of these yeah. bills and billing all these calls? What is the funding coming? How do you uh, do it, man? You just got that bread? No, I don't do it. You got that bread? Right now, right, 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 Go to DumpMasterTV at InnerNightCups.com. Hit us up. We come by y'all. Come by. <laughs> we'll tell you something. Know, you know what I'm saying? We, we you got to make it happen by any means necessary. Okay, right? well, I, okay, explain how it's going down. When you get to the Hellcat, Hellcat, you got about 10 of them in the yard. Yeah. No, I mean, you know what I mean? But <laughs> you got you to make it happen by any means necessary. Yeah. If you if you want to be successful in life, you going to make it happen. If no, it. if no ass, no butts, you going to make it happen. I'm 23 years old. I'm, I, I might look 35, 40. You know what I mean? I look old. old. But you know what I mean? But it's just the kids. I'm, I'm self motivated to get up every morning to be successful. Mm. I know where I'm trying to be. I'm not, I know where I'm trying to go at. So it's, this. it's, go it's no excuses. It's nobody that's going to get in my way to be successful. You just can't get, you just can't, it's not going to happen. You got to get this success you going. Got, you got to get this money. But my curiosity is, I'm not sure if you mentioned it earlier, but out of all the cars in the world, why you the fascination with Hellcats? Because Fast and Furious, I was always, I, the, the, I, it was a Fast and Fur- it was a Fast Five, where just putting that safe with them. them, them oh, charges. I remember that. I remember that so one. So I'm like, damn, shit, we got, we got, we got, we got to go on and whatever we got to do to get them cars, we got to get them cars, and it's so crazy. I told myself I wanted to go to uh, Los Angeles, California, mm-hmm. and go to the Fast and Furious house. I made it happen. I brought. Two they have a Fast and Furious house. house. Yeah, the, the one that they always go to where uh-huh. they eat the food and oh, shit. Oh yeah, it's an actual house. So they do where you can go and tour it. Yeah, but there's somebody that's living there. But oh. yeah, I went to that house, took a picture, and that was a, that, that was the start. That wow. was the wow. Because I didn't know I was gonna be able to do that. Okay. Because I told myself I want to go a whole bunch of places, but. I'm like, man, I ain't. No, okay, let me let me tell you how, how this whole me traveling the cities started. Right. So I was at work because I used to I used to do it part time. I used to be I used to be at a job. I used to be going to work um, Monday through Friday, and I used to try to fly out on um, Fridays. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? It was a weekend where we had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try something. This one I had to challenge the Hellcat. I said, you know what? I'm gonna drive to South Carolina. Mind you, I'm I'm in Florida. I never drove ever since I came from the Bahamas. I never went anywhere. I was just in Florida. Like, Florida. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive to South Carolina. It's like sixty. It's like sixteen hours. Wow. Man, I said I, the whole time I'm driving. I'm like, man, I should never did this shit. Ain't nothing to look at. It's like it's like it's like I've been on this road for like ten days. You know what I mean? I love that. Bro. Hours. So I'm like, but he I, wasn't used to it. I don't care. I love it, nigga. I be out there just listen, talking to, I got listening there. to the music, nigga. Listen, and you were driving there, by yourself? By myself. Hell yeah. I got there, and it was like it's all love. Everybody come, there, everybody call. I'm like, shit. I didn't know I could do this. But see, the thing, my popularity, my popularity was getting bigger and bigger outside of outside of Florida. And you didn't know. And I didn't know. They're like they kept saying, "Come to Florida. Come to North Carolina. Come to North Carolina." Man, I, I got there. It was a fucking movie. Mm. Wow. I said, you know what? This is what we doing. We're going to be traveling, and we're going to do what we need to do. And that's, you know what I mean? And it's been, it's been on and popping. Man, that's, uh, congratulations. Uh, that's no, that why I say is like, in life, you in order to be successful, you got to get your comfort zone. If you don't get your comfort zone, you stay in that same spot, ain't nothing going to happen. You talked about Fast and Furious earlier. 
Do you think that you would ever want to make an appearance on Fast and Furious? Oh shit! If I if I get up on that shit, I, <laughs> what? <laughs> Never call crazy. me. What? I'll be out there with Say, you, looking what? like nigga. I ride. Let me ride the passenger side. Whatever I'm doing, I'm <laughs> driving that motherfucker. I'm gone. Draws and all. <laughs> gone. But yeah, it would be. It would be definitely be like that'd be a highlight for you. Yeah, what, what, for sure. Because I, I live a Fast and Furious lifestyle right now in real life, like real shit. So you do all the drifting, all the everything. I do everything. What about uh, Paul Walker, man? Was you a big Paul Walker fan? I mean, the whole franchise. Just the whole thing. Yeah. Dumb, yeah. all of them. Oh, you know what I mean? It's fucking like he died, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I hate, I hate that album. But too. now they got niggas flying out of space and shit. I mean, it's different, ain't it? That's some bogus shit. The fuck I love all, all that shit. <laughs> what the fuck was I there? Yeah. yeah. They been doing, doing shifting 10 times yeah. in reverse and shit. I, uh, mm. I mean, it's cool, but it's, it's, it's not the same. It's too fast and furious, you know what I mean? Racing. They got to come back this way, so. Say, do you think, are you, are you, pro do you think that everything that you, did you see this coming? Oh, hell nah. You know what I'm <laughs> I, we just kept going rolling with it, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And yeah. Like, like right around, even after the stuff that happened with the, the cool, with the clothing deal stuff. Yeah. Random yeah, stuff, it just. It just kept snowballing to something else, but we just kept rolling with it. My team's strong, so we kept pushing forward. But we working on some more big things right now. I'll be back over here. <laughs> hey, I guarantee you. And you don't want to drop I, any hints? I, nah, not right now. <laughs> but it's going to be something big that's, you know what I mean? It's, it's real, real big. I, so I don't expect like, nothing else because, like I said, man, God been showing you favor on this oh, whole, yeah. Oh, yeah. the whole brand, the whole movement, and, and just all the stuff that you touch, it become a movement because the voice that you put behind it. Mm -hmm. you know, I see you out here, you know, you campaign it, mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. you speak it, and the way you speak it is passionate, and mm -hmm. people believe you, and then you come out and you show and prove, too. Let's yeah. get to the races, man. Like, yeah. you've been, you been, have you ducked anybody, or you been running nah, through nah, these ain't niggas? No, ain't no ducking. The season You're just not. started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The season just started, so like, this is the second, this is the actual third race of the season. Okay. So this race, I'm going to have have uh, uh, Denise we debut her car to actually she's gonna actually drive the car to research tomorrow. Oh, so really? We, yeah, we built her a 1999 Camaro Turbo LS and all that stuff. So she's gonna actually it's a purple, <coughs> it's white and purple of course. Co Camaro that she's gonna actually drive tomorrow. Really? What time yeah. tomorrow? So I can make she sure. She gotta see that. <laughs> I gotta she see gotta that. See that. Yeah, so we, uh, we gonna, I'm gonna break up next yeah. anyway. I gotta yeah, give yeah. about 15 minutes. Like, we gotta talk, man. Yeah, so we we coming to race and we coming to party and do what we gotta do. You know, what man. Mean? I'm but, so happy. I'm happy every time y'all come, racing. man. And I don't move until you get here. So oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't move until you get here, baby. <laughs> no, but I, I just really like. I really, really, I like the way you guys keep moving and keep grooving with everything. Everything, man. The eighty-five South relationship, man. Oh, yeah. Their boys down. They sh you showing them love. They showing you love, yeah. man. I'm over here jealous because I'm sh I'm way over here, way for <laughs> twelve and a half hours looking down now. I got to get down there and hang out. Last yeah, time I was man. coming, it was uh, it was storming. Storming. So we yeah. ended. We stopped in Atlanta uh -huh. and we didn't get to come down. So he he new, but he got a brand new studio. So Carlos eighty-five. I'm bringing South. it. Yeah, they opened. I'm talking. About, he got a brand new studio wow. at, that they that they just built. Wow. So yeah. it was brand new. Everything I, in that. I've seen yeah. it online. Yeah, they got the poor minds in there. They got everybody in there. They got That's everybody dope. in there. Yeah, you know what I mean? I make mean, phone calls, see what's going on. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we had we, we were bringing you some down there, uh -huh. uh, and uh, when we was bringing it, we didn't get to make it. Okay. So we had we had got some for you. My wife, uh, I said, man, I gotta get it to him. It, uh -huh. <laughs> what did you get? Something good? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, let's see if you think it's something good. Uh -huh. <laughs> some from us, man. Oh, yeah. okay. So. We here at Boss Talk 101 uh -huh. would love to present you with this award. Okay. And the award says, presented to Sage Thomas, a.k.a. Dunk Master, mm -hmm. in recognition of creating a world of big wheel racing, NDRA, and safety measures to make sure drivers are secure, mm -hmm. city to city, state, state to, to state. state. Oh, yeah. I won't say what year because you should have gotten this last year. <laughs> I thought we was coming to break it down. Oh, we'd love to award you with this. Yeah, okay. Balls Thank Talk 101, we love you, man. I appreciate it. For sure, it. man. Thank you you my guy, hey, man. And I, I want to say this too. Like, That's hard, man. Even though I've been hanging on with him like, for a few months now, we just he got a good heart. We just bro. got a relationship. I really like, really proud of this dude. You're right, like, no homo, but he reminds me of my dad. Like, That's hard. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> look. We be I mean, we damn it look the same. Look, look yeah. he act. Y'all, 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 y'all sound the same. He act I like, know. He, he act like my dad. And he's a mechanic. Cause my dad's a mechanic. So it's like when I look at him, I look like he look, he look, look more like my dad. Dad, yeah. In, in, in a way, 
Man, that's hard, bro. I said, bro. man, that's crazy. Man, you know, and, and, and the thing is, you got to appreciate the people. We try to get roses wild in here, man. Oh, for sure. And it's for like, sure. man, sure. I met this guy, man. He showed me so much love, bro. And it's going to be more to come. We're going to do some great things. God going to make it happen, and for I sure. know that. And along with you, too, man. Man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just blessed, bro. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, so so man, like like tomorrow, what can I expect when I come out there to the races? Oh, man? tomorrow's gonna you be gonna whoop somebody yeah, out there. We got a whole itinerary of guests. Is niggas there. been talking? Is niggas been yeah, talking? Yeah, it's a bunch of niggas talking. Yeah, we, we got people uh, like see you in six seconds, seven seconds. We got Demonology. We got Fred and XX on the gas. The boys with the fast trucks. Uh, man, we got a lot of different people. John Boy, Teen Silent Killer, Easy yeah, Money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got I'm talking, We got a lot of different people. Mostly called Dallas. He could be out there, too. Yeah. Yeah, then we got him my day. We're doing the burn. So they go actually do burnouts on the line. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, so we actually, so now the track won't let us do the donuts and stuff like that because they heard he was coming. He probably could shoot. You bring a reputation. <laughs> <laughs> you got that <laughs> reputation. So we could be able to do donuts, like burnouts on the start line. Yeah. You know, burnout contest. We got some people from California coming. Wow. Uh, Dr. Broke League. Matter of fact, he coming with it. With this whole burnout crew, burnout crew, yeah. So they got like a double stack of eighty five foot trailer, and they do a lot of burnout stuff like that too. So Man, they could be well, that bur burnouts or drifting. Y'all doing burnouts because they they saying they can't do the parking lot because it's gravel in the parking so, lot. What you mean like burnout? Like okay, like on the starting line, like the car do rolling burnouts right down the starting line. That's, that's boring, man. Yeah, 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 but, but how dangerous is it? Okay, so on the track, can anybody to sign up and come, or you have to be have some sort of expertise to to come out there because it can be dangerous, no, no, right? No, no, not on the actual race track. You, you, anybody, sign anybody up. can anybody kind of can, sign up yeah, and come. Pay, cut, pay a couple of dollars, get in the car, and burn out. Tie really? If you want to, because somebody oh, yeah. can come out there and be like, "Oh, I can do this," but really don't know what they're nah, doing. Yeah, there's a lot of time they hit the wall and tell the car up too. Now, yeah, I, I know you've seen that plenty of times. Hit really? the curb, what? All kind of stuff. Anybody get hurt? Oh, a lot of times if you. They don't know what they're doing. You know what right. I'm saying? So that's why we try to put in a controlled, safe environment. Right. When they do get hurt, we got a paramedics right here on standby. Pick Johnny up, put him back in the car, tell him to get on him. What do you got to do? Mm. You know and you're talking about donuts. Have you ever seen anybody do a donut and got out of control? Oh, niggas lose their lives doing that shit. <laughs> doing dumb shit. Not knowing what they're doing. See, see, you know me. I know what I'm doing. I do this shit. Yeah, you know I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> but you got niggas who think they know what they're doing. They go out there and fuck up. Because I see crazy stuff online where people used to always do. And, you know, you have, like, people standing around mm -hmm. or sitting out of the window and they doing donuts. And I've seen one where somebody was doing a donut and hit the person that's standing there. And I'm like, why you didn't move? Like, why would you keep standing there and they're doing all these donuts? Like, why? If the kids, I don't know, some of the juice or soda or something, they fucked up in the head. They really fucked up. <laughs> bad. They fucked up bad. I, I got I got to ask you about Young Throttle uh, smoked the uh, the the ties, not the homies. Like I seen that that little kid, y'all y'all. Who, who was in that car with him when he wrecked? Both of y'all yeah, did you? Man, it was in Both of y'all was in there. Too much weight. Y'all, it was too much weight. Too much weight. Y'all niggas in that hole. I'm talking about he was excited too because yeah, he probably was. He looked up the dunk master. Yeah, but then was my it was his first time me and me. Yeah. You're like, oh shit! I got these two big niggas in the car. <laughs> not, I, not, not actually big, but like, as in like, yo, like, like these niggas is here right now, right? Like. <laughs> He was amped, now he was amped. Like, he was amped. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's 11 years old. He's 11 and he got to drive yeah. with y'all. That's big, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what That's we, big. We, we trust him to do it because we seen his skills, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when he went to whip with that new motor, <laughs> I look at Graham, I see Graham hit him on the shoulder two times, <laughs> and, he, and he went right on the curb. Boom. <laughs> Dang. Wow. Boy, but you know what I mean? He, he popped two times. We happened to have some Camaro tires at the shop. I said, here you go, put, put them on. And he, then he went out and started doing it again. Started yeah. doing it again. Then they came to the show and won the money. Wow, they did. Yeah, he came to the show and redeemed himself and won the five hundred dollars. Wow, we gave out five hundred dollars to the best drifter slider. And he, he won it. Oh Crow, yeah, yeah. Crow went crazy with that shit. Man. Crow, he, he the youngest <laughs> one, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Hey, can he handle that thing? Oh, you know oh, what yeah. he doing. He know what he doing. I was about to give my keys to my other guy. I said, Nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but hey, you, you know, know what he doing. Yeah, I, I like I said, I just really I enjoy seeing the movement, man. Like I said, I I ain't gonna. I, I mean, I'm waiting on them next cars. How many cars would you say you fix up in a year's time? Sure, a whole bunch of them, man. including Carlos Miller cars. Yeah, 
Ah, man, I ain't... I don't know, bro. Probably about at least 70 to 80 cars. Because it'd be different things. So, like, some cars we do full bills on. I might do 20 full bill drivetrain bills a year. But, like, through the year, like, pull a transmission, fix this, fix that, fix okay. the fuel line. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maintenance. Good, yeah, yeah, maintenance and all that stuff. Man, over 100 at least through the year. I and not even the ones on the phone. So, like, I have shops in Minnesota, California, Texas call me. And, you know what I mean? I charge about an hour. I charge $125 an yeah. hour. So, yeah. if y'all need to call Dump Master, they go $125 an hour. I'll fix the call on the phone. Like, I do it, I do it, all, I do it all the time. Like, you know so crazy, though. You got, you got niggas. You got niggas that drive dunks. You got niggas that drive dunks and, like, they race them. But do this shit for real. Like, work on them and race them, all that shit. You got certain niggas who just come to the drag, they race them, they talk shit. Get a mechanic, like, do this shit for real. I was like, oh, yeah. shit, I ain't know that. It surprised you, didn't it? I said, this nigga built a car from... Man, I'm going to tell you something, said, man. Oh, shit. It's extraordinary to see a man, he pull these cars out these fields and stuff. I said, this nigga got a lot of cars That's and so. field dirt up and under. <laughs> he, he bragging about it. Oh, he taking stuff out, throwing it. He showing you this, oh. old, and then he want to bring it back and show you what to do. Oh, yeah. I see you do that. I said, let me go show you something real serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's hard, man. Yeah, like, yeah, that's good. That's yeah, good. And, and what's the quickest you ever fix one up? Shoot, shoot, that Camaro we did for her, we did one. We did one in four days. In four days? Yeah, we did that one in four days. We did the uh the donut dunk I built for eBay Motors and Hoon again. We did that one in we did that one in three days and it got the cat in the LA the uh what was that, Vegas. So yeah. three days we built the donut dunk and had shipped it to Las Vegas and was doing donuts in it. In five days, man. Have anybody ever just bought one straight up off for of you oh, while yeah, you I, I like, like right where you yeah, like, <laughs> like you see, like oh nigga, I want it now, nigga. I, I like that. Yep, yeah, cut that shit, and, you, <laughs> and, and yeah. you'll get out of it. Yeah, I built another one in five days. <laughs> like why not? I need shit. me fifty, sixty racks. <laughs> let me get that. Oh, I done did that a couple times. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do that a couple. I done did that a couple times. Yeah, yeah, but if you build a car that's rare, you ain't gonna let that go. Who ain't gonna let it go? You. If they got the check, I build another one. Really? That's nothing to me. Have, yeah. and, and and you got to understand, that, you know, people know him, so he probably get that a lot. Oh, yeah, I built another one. Like, That's people it. want his car, like yours, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they want, want it. They, yeah. want yeah. they always they, want to they, buy it. They'll give you extra because you who y'all are, too. They ain't got no choice. It's built by the best. <laughs> but is there any car that you have that you will not, either one of oh, y'all, yeah. that you will not let go for nothing in the world? I let everything go. See, it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's materialistic shit. You know what I mean? The name is what, you know what I mean? It should come and go all the time. Hey, you want yeah, that? Like, you know what I mean? I got a Z06. Like, the, the Z06. You the ain't car, letting that you know, car go, man. And they, and like, like, you know what I'm saying? We talked to them prints and stuff, and, and over there, you know what I mean? Them boy got a couple of M's now. Yeah. They come up with seven figures now. Yeah, shit. You gonna let it go. What? That they gotta go. Yeah, and, and so, like, the structure of these cars, mm -hmm. the reinforcement to make sure they safe, I know you big on that. Like, yeah, are you like like? Is that something? That anything new came about since me and you talked in Vegas, where you yeah. felt you know? Cause you the one creating this stuff. I gotta make that known. Cause yeah. a lot of times people don't realize how much safety precautions and stuff. I, I didn't know. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doing that to help to make it a safer way when people are. He done educated me, believe mm -hmm. me. And and I just want to know if there's anything else in becoming that, or you feel like everything where it's supposed to be now. Or is it anything? Any in the like people going on your website? Mm -hmm. You know, you was trying to educate everybody how you supposed to drive, not not how you supposed to drive, but what you supposed to wear mm -hmm. and all that stuff. How is that coming? Yeah, so all that stuff is working. So now we're developing more stuff with brakes, steering products, stuff, different stuff like that. So I'm working with different companies uh, to help build that for the, the cars to go faster because now these cars are going faster. So like, let's say 2014 and 15, it was running 150 miles in a, 150 mile per hour and a quarter mile. Now they run like 180 miles per hour on a quarter mile. Wow. But a lot of people fail to realize like the shocks and the steering components and the brakes. Like I had a lot of input on a lot of that stuff because I'm working closely with all the main factors that they're buying it from. Yeah. So five years ago, they couldn't call FTI and be like, let me get a transmission for a dunk, blah, 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 that makes 3,000 horsepower. But I'm the one who helped develop it and do all that kind of stuff like, like I told you before. Yeah. But now we're developing stuff for a little bit stronger. Faster, so we got a lot of stuff that we're working on. Because some people come out there and ain't ready. Nah. They ain't had none of that put nah. on that car, gonna raise somebody. Yeah. And he gonna break some, all kind of stuff yeah. messing up on it. Tyler uh, gonna fly somebody in crowd. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, they ain't ready to be doing all that. Uh, 
Nah. Yo, so is Rick Ross doing anything else this year? Y'all ain't gonna be doing nothing else, you know? Nah, like, he got he got something. He supposed to be doing something to car show. I think a lot of them boys building cars for it. I don't think he's had no date or nothing yet. But they talking. But about they trying to if the talk is there. Yeah, yeah they saying somebody doing a car. They show. trying to do it. You gonna yeah, be a part of this time? Or you yeah, don't know. My schedule ain't too busy. You know what I'm saying? That the thing is like with me, we playing for the year. You know what I'm saying? So like when I drop my schedule in January, I already got about what dates I'm gonna do. I, I know. Might have a couple mm-hmm. open ones here and there. You know what I'm saying? But it just depends on what I got going on. Yeah, I was trying to deal with Ice, Ice Cube been morning, and they was telling us about how he was a year out. I was talking to his yeah. bass guy like, he already scheduled. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to be you be two years out trying to see this nigga because he already, you know? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the schedule's yeah, already wow. nigga. Yeah, yeah, you already got things going, so you uh-huh. can't do nothing but respect that, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> what... what the cars keep coming this year. All the, we gonna keep raffling these cars. I'm gonna oh, keep. Yeah. I'm gonna keep. Away. I'm gonna try every time. I think I'm gonna put me a budget together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all give me a budget together. Just go on and try every time because uh, somebody gonna win that thing. Yeah. So What's, like the last person won was uh, the '96 Palette. Uh, matter of fact, name I Chris seen that old man yeah, from D, from uh, Maryland. He just won this car. The fella for, a fella out of Arkansas won the don't. You know what I'm saying? We keep track who went the craziest though. I was when they wondering won. if you if you keep the, uh, Yeah, the fellow with who won the Monte Carlo, the blurry. He, you know what I mean? He they went came crazy. To the show. Yeah, they they some country boys. That like, nigga went crazy. Did anybody yeah. cry? Yeah, all of them cry. Yeah. Every time they get a the car. Hell, nigga, I'm going to cry about yeah. that Chevelle, nigga. You got to come get me. I'm going to be hurt, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nigga you bring that red Chevelle to me, nigga, I'll cry. Yeah, we got, we got no, I know I'm going to go oh, see yeah. it, but I'm oh, saying, yeah. if you say it's mine, yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm say, don't do this, man. Hey, no, no, take it back. Yeah. No, 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 don't take nothing back. Oh. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> man, I enjoyed no, this, but man. I gotta question because you know with old cars or building cars uh-huh. you know because one thing i've always thought um newer cars nowadays i always say they're not very strong compared to these mm-hmm. old cars like if they're in a wreck and stuff like that i always say i prefer to be in an old car any day yeah, in yeah. a wreck than these new cars is there any new car that you feel like is built like to last to stand like the old cars are now well, any know. brand yeah, so Chevrolet. So matter of fact, Chevrolet and Harley Performance had me come to Chevrolet uh, where they built the Corvette at. So they actually picked about six people to actually drive the brand new C8 Z06. So I was one of the six people that actually went there. They gave, wow. us, a, they gave us a brand new Corvette Z06. I think my car had like 2,000 miles on it. And we got to take it around the race course and go about 150 miles an hour. Now, that was crazy. How like, was that? What? That was crazy. I can talk about they give me a brand new vet. cost 200000 I was trying to tear it up. Yeah, I ain't tore it up. But I, I had a good time driving it, seeing what's going on with it. And I actually thought about buying one of them. <laughs> one of them, but you know what I mean? It was a, so why didn't you? I ain't trying to spend no two hundred. <laughs> not on that, but you know what I mean. It was it was fun time. So that brand is a good brand to go yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So Chevrolet always been around for a long time, but they just came out with the Z06, and you know what I mean. It's naturally aspirated and it's fun to drive. But why don't they make cars as sturdy as how they used to back in the day? Is it too heavy? I, I don't. I think they just want you to keep spending your money. To tell you the truth, because I can build a car. My car lasts a long time. Like I have old schools that I built in two thousand fifteen and sixteen that I didn't have to take the motors out. Mm, like, wow. And them boys dog them on the weekends and stun and ride around and all we have to do is change the batteries and oils on, on the wow. stuff like that. You said that Camaro is your number one uh, car, but n- top three classics, top three cars of all time, right? Yeah, classic Your cars. model and all. Uh-huh. What's your, What's top, your three? top three? Yeah, well, I, I like the 71 Impala, the 69 Seven. Convertible uh, Camaro. And I kind of like the the old school suburban, like that sixty something. Oh yeah, really? yeah, I like the yeah. old school suburban. Yeah, Cause I got a lot of kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm gonna have some cool. I got to put them in there too. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's what I like. You got to give us that same. We got we need the top three. It, it could be Hellcats, huh? <laughs> and your top three, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, what'd you like? Cars of all time. Hellcat, Challenger, Charger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you already know he is. <laughs> Number one. You're modeling all. Okay, Charger. What's what year yeah. model? Well, I think the twenty the twenty fifteen. The twenty fifteen. Okay. You know what I mean. And then you got the Hellcat wide body. Okay. What model? Uh, twenty what twenty 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 two twenty three. Oh yeah, you the want that body. new one? The wide body. Ooh, that don't go cost right now. The BBW right now. now, man. <laughs> and then I, think, three. I think I go with the Hellcat Durango. Okay. Uh, okay. But see, the whole the whole thing about it is though, what I'm working with, I'm working to get all six trims. Okay, I need explain. That. I need that. The, 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 the Charger, the Challenger, the Durango, TRX, the Chrysler, and the Trackhawk. The 300C, talking about. 
Huh? A Chrysler 300C? A Chrysler, yeah. Oh, a Chrysler okay. Hell, Hellcat, well, Hellcat with the Hellcat motor. Oh, okay. I need six of them things. Six? Yeah, I ain't going to stop until I get them all. All them. six of them? Yes, sir, I need it. I need it. What's the craziest thing a fan done did when they seen you, man? Like, man. <laughs> I'm going to ask you next. So, I, I'm in Chicago, right? There's some Caucasian people, you know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't racist, you know what I mean? I love all my people, you know what I mean? Me too. So, we sitting up in the Chicago in this pizza place, right? So, we got these two white dudes sitting in the back of us, right? So, you know, we eating. So, he looking at us, right? So, you know, me, I, I said, you know, racism ain't here no more. That shit is back in the day. Like, you ain't, this ain't that. What is they looking at? They, they looking, they looking, they looking. I said, man, I'm for the these niggas what type of temperature they on. You know what I mean? Cause I, 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 I want to make sure you hear. There's two big white dudes, too. So, you know, 20 minutes go by. You know, they, they, they come up. They're like, um, I'm sorry to bother you guys, but are you Mr. Goddammit? <laughs> I said, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Can I get a picture? I said, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. But you know me. I'm like, You no. didn't know that was going to come from the white boy because, like that. Because my, my name is so big. But I'm so humble. Yeah, and I'm I'm a real nigga. Yeah, like that shit. It, it it hasn't hit me yet. You didn't know what the hell was going on with them white boys. I said, uh, all right, go ahead. You get the picture. Go ahead. But I'm like, man, them niggas will stand me down for twenty minutes long. <laughs> I'm even they looking. That's dope, though, man. I, yeah, I didn't yeah, make yeah. you feel to know that people just know like that. They watch it. Hey, it, it makes me feel good that I keep on going. Man, that's hard, man. Yeah. Same thing to you. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, oh, like, who was, who was, what's the craziest, like, uh, I, it's situation? It's a lot of different situations. Now, I'll give I, you one. I just know, you know what I mean? It's a lot of them. The only ones, I, I can say, like, all the fans, I love all the supporters, it just be the ones that be, like, hysterical. Like, I'd have had ladies start shaking and crying. And, wow. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Little kids start shaking and crying and doing stuff like that. But it just, to me, it just, like, they be real emotional a lot of times. About yeah. It. And then once I sign the autograph, they go crazy, you know what I mean? Take a picture. Wow, of them, me. man. But it's a lot of times, I'd have had a lot of, Moments where they be shaking and crying, and you know, it, they, they it's like, crazy. man, you never would have thought. Nah, like, not like that. Like, but they do it a lot, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, you Michael Jackson <laughs> running. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 nigga. See the thing about they the club, nigga. It's all. See, see the thing about the, the thing about me is right. I'm so I'm such a, like I'm just cool, laid back. I'm just laid oh, yeah, back. When they see me, they be like, oh shit, like what the fuck. Because they, they ain't never seen me like I, I, when I pull up, I pull up cool, like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I pull like one thing like two, three years ago, I pulled up in, in this in this restaurant. I said, like, You in line? He said, He's like, Oh shit. They'll do it. I knew it, yeah. Yeah. Like, shh, shh. Don't tell nobody. There was a lot of people in there. <laughs> people in this whole like, I don't I don't like attention when when I don't even like attention when it when it, when I need it. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh shit, bro. I said, oh, just chill, just chill. I said, you want to pitch? Come on, come on. Mr. I, Goddamn it, I, I was man. just asking if you was You're not going to be able to control that, bro. I know, I'm like, y'all yeah, niggas is going to be a problem. This double trouble right here. I said, bro, shh. You got a little bit too loud in that motherfucker. I said, bro, I, I'm just asking if you was lying. He like, That's he, hard, He got a picture here. Have you ever had a person who didn't know who you were, but because everybody else More was than making. You know, who you, were. Uh, oh, yeah. you know, they were like, you know what? I'm going to take a picture with you because I know you somebody because everybody <laughs> else acting like. Yeah. All the time, all the time, yeah. all the time. That, all the time. Had, that happened to me. As a matter of fact, we was in, uh, when I went to the Chevrolet, the, the yeah. plant, in the plant, it was the ladies on the line. But it was another dude online. So a Chevrolet, if no, nobody, if you've never been in a Chevrolet plant before, you have four minutes to do your job. So if you don't do your job within four minutes, you go back the line up. Yeah. So when we came in there, we was walking through the plant and they was looking. They kept looking, kept looking, and there was a black lady and a dude in there, and the dude hollered Gapsos. I turned around. Hey, the Gapsos. And then I walked down the line. So he done did his job faster and went down to take it to get on the line <laughs> and take a picture. So I actually stopped production at the Chevrolet Corvette plant wow. for them to take a picture with me. <laughs> and then after we came around, the tour guy was like, "Everybody taking a picture." I called my brother, ask her. And the tour guy turned around and take a picture of me too because the brother said, that's the dumb mess. You don't know the hell They don't is. know. Yeah, but that was but, crazy. But they going to find out. Yeah. Yeah. So so they they just went to go do production. Damn, yeah, yeah, like we ended up production. in the production line and they, he heard me, did his job and walked down four or five spaces and jumped down the line and take a picture. Man, and that's hard, that's hard bro, man. It, man, bro. That, I just, like I said, man, I thank you guys for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold to you if they trying to link up with you, bro? Mr. Goddamn it, all platforms. That's hard. Oh yeah, one underscore dunk master on Instagram, the dunk master. Just Google dunk master. It's going uh, down. That's all I gotta do. I go to internetcustom dot com and you know. Man, y'all you know. boys keep working, oh, yeah, keep applying that we, pressure, we man. We also got thank y'all for coming on the show, oh, yeah, man. Sure. Love you guys, man. Thank you, brother. It's been another thank great you. segment. A boss talk one on one. What a boss is talk. And we out, man.